Welcome back. My car, Paul Mahaka, heard, but we're down in the Catlins. <laughs> Slope Hill, 1970. Not far from where my ancestors shipwrecked Surat Bay. 8x8, uh, eight eight. good start. Lengths are uh, 37 and 6 by 37. Um, the spread has gone 40, but it lose, that means it loses. Uh, two and two eighths two wide um, times three is six and six eighths so they didn't write the score there um, hmm. anyway um, let's do some maths 35 and one eighth bugger um, span is 30 and one beams are six and two each side coronets are ten and six by ten and four Brow tines are 16 and 3 by 16 and 2. Oh, this is so good. Bays, it loses out a little bit on the left side. 5 and 1 by 11. And the trays are 16 by 16 and 5. How good. Outer rolls, 10 and 1 by 10 and 7. Inner rolls are 5 and 1 by 5 and 2. Mm. Back tines, 15 and 2 by 15 and 4. Outer off the back tines, 5 and 1 by 5 and 4. And then the second outer off the back tines are 2 and 4 by 1 and 2. Symmetry. Uh, total score is 319 by 3 eighths. This is probably the finest trophy ever secured in the Catlins district. And as can be seen by the photograph, has magnificent brow tines, although unfortunately a little weak in one bay, yeah, as we said. The stag was secured in the southwest side of Slope Hill near Catlins Cone during the month of April. Blakey was hunting with a companion, Brian Pierce. It was early in the morning when the pair set off from the spot they had camped overnight in the area, gaining access to where they wished to hunt by the use of a four-wheel drive vehicle. The stag was located soon after daylight and following a careful stalk, Blakey managed to get into a suitable position for the shot. He missed his target and was first with his first shot, but his second dropped the stag in its tracks. The two hunters were back at their homes by midday with a fine red trophy and three pigs. It is interesting to note that both stags taken in the Catlins area are profiled here. This particular stag and that taken by David Thompson, which follows, were both secured in the north end of this large tract of country lying from South Otago and on to, into Southland, known as the Catlins and Cheslands. So next up we do have David Thompson. This one was shot in Bald Hill, Catlins, South Otago, 1973. As we say, make sure you're subscribed, and while you're slapping that subscribe button or follow button, hit the five stars. That'll help it get out to more people on the interwebs. I see plenty of people are finding it on, on Instagram, which is cool. Um, you can see the heads there. Um, share those out, or uh, if you're in your Spotify app, share it to your story. Tag either one of those Instagram pages, Stag Ryan or Ryan O'Connor NZ or both, and uh, we'll spread it further afield. Thanks so much. And we'll catch you there for the second one from the Catlins. The final one from the Waikaya Paul Mahaka Herd. Um, and then we move on to the Wairarapa. Cheers. This is New Zealand Big Game Records Volume 6, The Red Deer Part 2. Written and compiled for the New Zealand Deer Stalkers Association. Incorporated by D. Bruce Banwell. Published by the Halcyon Press, a division of Halcyon Publishing Limited, PO Box 360, Auckland, 1140, New Zealand. Printed by Prolong Press, Limited, China. Um, copyright, 2011, D. Bruce Benwell, first published 2011, all rights reserved.